India's history of metalworking is documented in some of the oldest written records in the world. It is legendary, yet only a few tantalizing clues to the source of that legend remain. Here, along the road to the Himalayas, I'd heard there were groups of itinerant workers who still retained one of the main skills of the ancient Indian metal craft. The Gadulia logicians reach back more than 3,000 years. Watching them hand forge simple tools carried me back in time. Their methods seem to have changed very little. Iron ore from deposits across India was placed in a mud and brick furnace charged with charcoal. Bellows provided an air supply that brought the temperature up to 1100 degrees Celsius. Molten iron or bloom collected and cooled at the bottom. In order to make a tool or a weapon, the ancients reheated and hammered the bloom into shape, much like these lohars do with bars of scrap iron. And what's more, I realized that while the ancestors of these lohars forged everyday tools that contributed to India's wealth, it wasn't sickles but swords that brought the world to India's shores.